Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray y'all are doing well as we all top give the most tower to honor the glory and all praise and worship. This is a video response back to you, uh, Miss Thelma. Uh, you wanted to know, have I seen the video of Miss Jade uh, Godboat? I believe I'm saying her name right. Jade Godboat, which is the, um, the young lady, beautiful young lady, who just came forward, and that was bold and made that video on social media, on YouTube, about how she's leaving Delta Sigma Theta. And if you've been watching my video, video, excuse me, I've been saying this stuff for years. I've done many videos on pledging, uh, taking oaths from a biblical standpoint, what the most high tell us to do and what not to do, and what's pleasing to man versus what's pleasing to the most high. Here's the thing, um, some people are really waking up and studying and looking at what they offer in from a biblical standpoint, and that's exactly what she's done, and I'm proud of her. I, and I know that's, man, she's going to have a whole lot of haters, a whole lot of people mad at her because that's bold to come forward because that's a big, big thing right there. But I love everything she said, especially when she started talking about the covenant with her and her husband in the most high. See, here's the thing. If you listen, listen closely to what she said, she got off in it when she was, I believe, 20 years old. And I think she's now 32 or 34. I think she said 32, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the thing I always tell people. When you claim to be off in something, just like I say with holidays, are you just doing it because somebody else doing it or pushed you into doing it. See, a lot of people will study on these things, but they would not look at it from a biblical standpoint. And the Bible is clear on taking oaths. And of course, the Bible show oaths in a good way, and then it show oaths in a bad way. But you don't never supposed to pledge and bow down. Only person you're supposed to bow down to is the Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it. And I love everything she said in there because See, some people are going to get real mad at that video because a lot of people don't understand what they're off in is demonic. And then they're going to say things probably like, well, they good people. I'm not knocking that. And see, if you look at when people start saying things like it's based off of the Bible, but then they can't point to you and tell you where. Or they may say it's based, it's based off of Christianity. Okay. Let's put a pin right there. How many wicked things in this world is based off of Christianity? Let's look at America. Now, you got to ask yourself the question, what really is Christianity? you got to ask yourself another question. Where did it come from? It didn't come from Yahshua. It didn't come from the Holy Spirit. See, I'm tired of people talking about Jesus started Christianity. No, he didn't. Jesus wasn't even a Christian, if you want to get technical. You look at... You look at our Savior, who he was, what he was, and where he came from, you'll never see Christianity in that. Now, the Bible do say don't be ashamed to suffer as a Christian, but you'll never find in the Bible where Jesus was a Christian, nor did he call his followers Christian. We all know where he came from. But I just have to always say that when people start talking about Christianity. You know, you can, you can call yourself what you want. But if you look at Catholic and Christianity and what's tied in and what they do together, you should understand what I'm saying. It did not come from the Holy Spirit. So with that being said, when people say the organizations is based off of that, and I always say America is based off of that too, but you look at the forefathers of America. So in other words, if you want to be off of that and call it Christianity, you're talking about stealing, rape, arrogance, murder, kidnapping, Mason there, Freemason, you name it. I know I know men who are Masons that I know that claim Christianity. So the question is, what do God accept? I ain't talking about the God of this world. I'm talking about the Yahuwah. So when that sister was speaking, I wasn't, man, I couldn't do nothing but clap, 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 clap my hands. Because I know people who's getting out of that stuff, but then they want you to make a lifetime membership in so many ways. And if you just listen closely to what, what Jade was saying, she's speaking nothing but truth. But like I say, a whole lot of people are going to be mad at her because she really is exposing what's really going on. 
And that's why I believe, you know, more and more people will come out of it, but I think more and more people will stay in it also. And I applaud, man, I take my hat off to and applaud her because it takes a, a bold woman to come forward and do something like that. It takes a bold man to come forward and do stuff like that. I know me, I know some, just a few men who said, man, I should have never got off of this stuff when I was in college. And that's why I told y'all, it wasn't even, well, probably it was about three or four years ago. I told y'all about that movie that came out. I couldn't think of the name of that movie when they kept pledging. Them boys, man, they was, they was beating them boys up, stomping on them boys, making them eat dog food. I mean, you name it, they did the worst to them boys in that movie. And one of them wound up dying at the end, all because he was trying to please Big Brother. Man, ain't, ain't nothing godly about that. That stuff ain't even biblical. And that's why I love when Jade said in that part of the video how she hurt people with talking with so many lies that she did, things that she said. Because a lot of people, when they get off of that stuff, they're going to do some stuff that you don't even supposed to do just to do it. See, I got kin folks that's Masons. I know all about Freemasons. I know I know all about the lies. I know about all that stuff because I study on this stuff. And I know people in it. I know deacons who are Masons. I know preachers who are Masons. I know about the handshakes. I know about all that stuff. And I always say, and they tied in with Christianity. But God, come on, teach Holy Spirit, Yahuwah, the Most High, Yah. Who told Moses I am that I am Especially if you talking about You are Israel Come on now If you claim to be a chosen One of the Holy Spirit There is no way in here you should ever pledge But see most of us walking around I'm talking about my people now Most of us still walking around here don't know who we are Laws Laws And that's why when you don't know who you are Yo, when your identity have been taken away from you, you'll fall for anything. You'll listen to anything. And I mean everything I'm saying out of love. I don't care who get mad at me, man. The truth is the truth. You don't suppose to pledge. When you look at the Bible, look at you look at witchcraft, you look at the evilness of what mankind always done, you're gonna see some of all this stuff. You don't like, we talked about the tattoos out of there about being tattooed, using, uh, putting the tattoos on your body. We talked about them, man. We always talking about them taking them oats, doing them rituals. Who you doing it for? It ain't God. And that's why you got to be careful because evil spirits flow through that stuff. With JT, evil, evil spirits flow through the church too all the time. I never said they don't. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I expose them all the time. And that's why, if you really catch what I'm saying, as I try to end this video, the Holy Spirit said, "Be set apart. Be ye holy, for I am holy." That's why you don't supposed to do what the world do. See, but when you when you listen to a lot of people that's off in it, like I said, they're gonna tie it in with Christianity. You gotta make it look kind of. Kind of like it's about God, don't you? Well, Easter is tied in with it. Halloween is tied in with it. <laughs> Y'all catch what I'm saying? People hate when I speak the truth. All this stuff is tied in with Christianity. But ask yourself again where Christianity come from. Did God design it? No. Halloween, Christmas, Easter, all this stuff is pagan. It don't have nothing to do with God. And what do they do? They incorporate it and try to make it look biblical. And you're not going to find it in the Bible nowhere. Matter of fact, you're going to find the Bible is against it. You're making a mockery of the Holy Spirit. You're not supposed to make um, graven images of crosses and, and pictures of the, of, the, of the Savior. You're not supposed to do none of this stuff. But this world loves to use it and try to make it seem like it's what it really is and it's not. This is why you'll never see me pledge. I don't even stand up and hold my hand on my heart. Uh, pledge leads to the flag. No. Nope. The flag ain't the cross. The Constitution ain't the Bible. But when you go to court, what's the first thing they do? Put a Bible up. You, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You aren't even supposed to swear. So if you're not supposed to swear, pledge, 
take these oaths, do these rituals. If you don't know where it's coming from, then why are you in it? To please big brother or big sister? That sister told the truth. And I'm with her a million percent. And I know I'm going to probably get hated on for doing this video, but I don't care. I love to see people stand up and be real with what's really going on out here. Do I, am I mad at, at, at people that offer this stuff? No. No. You see the men doing it all the time. You know, doing the little songs and the, you got the cute dogs. You know, you, you got you got so many that do what they do, man. And my frat brother over there, my frat brother over there. I don't care nothing for having a frat brother. I need a real brother. I ain't saying they ain't real. I'm saying when I say brother, I want to say brother the same way Christ said brother. As he looked at like Lazarus. Because what greater love is that than a man that laid out his life for a friend? I had a, I had a great buddy of mine, man, who was often, he, he's amazing. But when he lost his house, lost his car, he said not one of his Mason brothers had his back. He went homeless. I used to work with him years ago. He went homeless. And then he told him, I thought we supposed to be a brotherhood. He said he didn't even have his back. I'll leave you with that. Sister Jade, proud of you. Keep up the good work. Shalom, family.